A new study recently published has brought an alarming perspective on the real condition of the magmatic system of Campi Flegrei. According to researchers, a small rise in pressure, something that could occur with the injection of just a fraction of new magma, would be enough to compromise the structure of the magma chamber. This happens because the crust above this chamber is extremely weakened, with far less resistance than it had decades ago. The analogy used by scientists is simple. Imagine a balloon already heavily inflated, where just a small puff of air could make it burst. This study is based on the analysis of previous eruptions, such as the Nydia event that happened about 3,900 years ago. The research team reconstructed the fractures and deposits left by that eruption, and concluded that a vertical fissure of about 4,600 feet, 1,400 meters, deep and then only 13 feet, 4 meters wide, was enough to allow magma to escape. The chamber structure is compared to a giant pancake, flat and wide, located about two and a half miles, four kilometers, below the city of Pozzuoli, precisely where current warning signs, such as ground uplift and gas emissions, have intensified. Even more concerning is the fact that, according to simulations made by the researchers, the injection of only about 0.075 to 0.22 cubic miles, 0.075 to 0.22 cubic kilometers, of new magma would be enough to bring the system to its breaking point. This represents an extremely small amount in volcanic terms, something that could go unnoticed by current monitoring instruments. The danger lies not only in the possibility of a colossal eruption, but also in phreatic eruptions, caused by the interaction between magma and groundwater, which have already shown considerable destructive potential, such as the Monte Nuovo event in 1538. The key point revealed by this new study is that Campi Flegre's volcanic system may not need a massive recharge of magma to erupt. Just a light injection may be enough for the pressure to exceed the critical rupture threshold of the rock that covers the chamber. In other words, the fuse already exists, a vertical fissure identified in previous studies, and it is potentially ready to be triggered by a simple seismic event. This reinforces the urgent need to closely monitor the geological signals of the region, since any variation may represent the threshold between stability and a new eruptive episode. As scientists advance in analyzing Campi Flegre's underground structure, new images and diagrams help visualize what is at stake. One of the most important elements is the behavior of the ground in the Pozzuoli region, where uplift has already exceeded historical values. Since the beginning of the current phase of unrest in 2005, the ground has risen by approximately six and a half feet, two meters, a mark considered critical by many specialists. This uplift may indicate pressure buildup caused by magmatic intrusions or by the movement of fluids in the shallow hydrothermal system. Researchers have identified that the signal of this uplift, called a geodetic fingerprint, can vary depending on the source of the pressure. That is why it is essential to distinguish between an increase caused by vapor and gases and another caused by rising magma. The study showed that, in the case of the Monte Nuovo eruption in 1538, the deformation pattern was different from the one recorded in the 1980s when a magmatic intrusion was trapped beneath the crust. Currently, the pattern seems to be expanding, which may indicate that deep pressures are adding to the shallow ones, a red alert for those monitoring the volcanic activity in the region. In addition, analyses revealed that the shallow magma chamber contains between 20 and 36 cubic miles, 85 and 150 cubic kilometers, of magma, but only a small portion is fully molten and eruptible. The most intriguing point is that, even with this colossal amount of material, the chamber does not need to be completely full for a rupture to occur. With the current fragility of the crust, magma could reach the surface with pressure considered modest for volcanic standards about 5,000 pounds per square inch, 35 megapascals, which is about 350 times the pressure of a car tire. This pressure, according to the study's data, can be reached with the entry of less than one-fifth of a cubic mile, 0.2 cubic kilometers, of magma into the shallow chamber, a value lower than what was released during the Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980. This comparison helps us understand how delicate the situation at Campi Flegre is. Small internal changes can have gigantic consequences. And uh, what is even more worrying is that this process may be occurring silently, below the detection limit of current monitoring instruments. Another crucial point revealed is that past eruptions were not concentrated exclusively in the center of the caldera. Records show that several events occurred along the edges of the structure. 
where geological faults served as escape routes for magma. This means that, although attention is focused on Pozzuoli, where seismic activity and uplift are greatest, other surrounding areas must also be closely monitored. An earthquake along one of these faults could be the trigger for a new eruption, even outside the current hotspot of unrest. The most alarming discovery of the study is the possible presence of volatile mafic magma, about four miles, six kilometers deep, detected through the analysis of gases such as hydrogen sulfide. These elements, when combined with groundwater, can generate intense phreatic eruptions, characterized by sudden vapor explosions and rock ejections. This type of event is especially dangerous because it is sudden and highly destructive, as seen in the Nydia eruption thousands of years ago. The fact that the chemical composition of current gases matches this type of magma reinforces the hypothesis that the system is being recharged, even if still discreetly. With all this data, Scientists are now able to build a more realistic model of what may happen in Campi Flegre and how to identify early warning signs of a possible eruption. Unlike other volcanoes, the rupture of this magma chamber does not need a massive new recharge. Just a small injection from the deeper chamber, which feeds the shallower one, may be enough to push the system beyond its limit. This makes the region extremely vulnerable to sudden changes and demands constant and precise monitoring. One of the most important tools in this process is ground deformation analysis. If the uplift fields begin to expand beyond the currently affected areas, such as Pozzuoli, this could indicate that both the hydrothermal and magmatic systems are acting together. This overlap of forces would be a clear sign that pressure is increasing to concerning levels. Thus, researchers believe that the key to detecting an imminent eruption lies in observing if the uplift pattern changes from localized to widespread which would reveal deep pressure trying to escape. This behavior was observed both before the Monte Nuovo eruption and the Nidia eruption, and now scientists have enough data to compare those events with the current situation. If similar patterns begin to repeat, it will be an indication that the system is behaving like it did in the past, one of the few clues available to predict what might come. On the other hand, unpredictability is also a factor. Fissures can open in unexpected places, and magma may find alternative routes to the surface, bypassing installed sensors. Science can identify patterns, but only with planning and collective action will it be possible to respond effectively when, and if, the moment comes. If you made it this far, it's because you understand the importance of topics like this and know that information is the best tool we have to face the challenges of nature. So, if this content helped you better understand the risk Campi Flegre represents, consider sharing this video with more people. Collective awareness can save lives. And if you want to dive deeper into topics about volcanism, earthquakes, and other natural phenomena, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next content. Leave your comment below with your opinion on this study, and tell us, do you think we are prepared for an event of this magnitude? like the video, subscribe, and share it with someone you know will be interested. And if you want to support the production of content like this, consider becoming a channel member. See you in the next video with more information and analysis about the mysteries and dangers of our planet. Until then, and stay safe.